Okay, this is the November 30th, 2021 Planning Commission meeting for the City of Malden. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Mr. Deerhog, will you please call the roll? Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Commissioner Pagliolunga? Present. Commissioner Foreman? Present. Commissioner Sofield? Present. Commissioner Ong? Present. And our Chairman, Mr. Paulson? Present. And just for the record, Ms. Wollard and Mr. Barefoot. Normally I have the Pledge of Allegiance when there's a big crowd, but um, we don't have to do that tonight if everybody's okay with it. So uh, tonight's agenda items will be a reading and approval of the minutes from the October meeting and review of a rezoning at 301 East Butler Road. Since uh, there don't appear to be many members from the public here, I won't go over the rules for this course, but uh, let's skip right ahead to the review and approval of the minutes from the October meeting. Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes? I move to accept the minutes. I have a motion to accept the minutes. Do I have a second? I second it. Okay, I have a motion from Commissioner Pagliunga to uh, also accept the minutes. Any last discussion? All right, I'd like to go ahead and call for a vote. Since we're all present, we don't need a roll call vote. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand and saying aye. 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 And uh, I believe that was unanimous. The next item on the agenda tonight is discussion of the rezoning at 310, I mean, sorry, 301 East Butler Road. Um, again, since there aren't any members of the public here, we don't have to go through all the different, um, all the different formalities, but Mr. Deerhog, would you please introduce this item? Right. Thank you, Mr. Paulson. <clears throat> Tonight, we have for you to review a request to rezone a property at 301 East Butler Road. This property is about a half acre in size. And um, as shown on the map here on the screen, this is located directly across from where Bethel Drive intersects East Butler Road, right there where the Regent Street is. The applicant who is here tonight, Mr. Ron Clyde, uh, is planning, at least in the short term, to convert the home that sits on this property to an office for his real estate company, Clyde Realty. The conversion of the home will include providing the required This may look uh, like a familiar location because uh, the property next door to it, 247, was also recently rezoned earlier this year by the Planning Commission from a residential zone, from the same R2 residential zone to C2. And that's what displayed on the screen now so the zoning that's going on in this area this property is outlined in yellow and you can see it abuts right off the road from 247 earlier this year and then it it tracks this, this map to zone c2 Thank you. Before we continue, does anyone on the commission have any conflict of interest or ex parte communication to disclose regarding this item? Hearing none, 
Does the applicant wish to add any comments at this time? Live at uh, 205 Eagle Way, Greer, South Carolina. Acquired, acquired this property sometime back as a single family residence. And uh, it would make a great office building once we get through safety and health inspections, ADA compliance, and assess the extent of improvements I can make to the property. Thank you. Are there any members of the public who'd like to make a comment online? There are no one, no one has their hand raised. Okay. So I will not open the floor to public comment. Why don't you go ahead and close the floor to public comment? The floor is now closed to public for public comment. Do, um, do any members of the commission have any questions for the applicant? Your intent is to use the existing house that's there as the office, or is it going to tear down and rebuild? If I did convert it to an office, I would continue to use the existing house, existing structure. Assuming that the inspection. This is only, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. This is only tangentially uh, related, but um, what are the, uh, are there any official plans regarding widening of the road there after the big project? Yeah, so this is involved with the uh, improvements being planned for East Butler Road. I haven't seen the latest to see where their, what their design is and how it impacts this property, but it's expected probably be trying to acquire part of the front there to see DOT I kind of just kind of going on it we've been following through with it and so yeah I, I can't tell you exactly what they're looking to take in but I anticipate a little bit more than that yes I anticipate a little bit more than that following mainly on building a better but I think they're they're still in the the uh, information gathering phase, right, or the comment gathering phase at DOT through I want to say December tenth, maybe or something. Correct. Yeah, they just had a public meeting recently, and they're planning to have a public comment via email. I think they have a preferred route. They have a preferred. I have option a preferred. Route. What was the question? Yeah, it was option three, I think, where it kind of loops Bethel. You oh, can't yes. really see right off the map here, and it makes like right. a loop back around and uh, ties off Bethel. You won't have access to Butler from Bethel where it's at currently. That intersection goes away. Yeah, off this map to the right, tie in. Well, that would change things a lot. Okay, uh, any additional questions for the applicant? Can we please get the recommendation of staff? Yes, thank you. So we've reviewed this for consistency with the comprehensive plan, the suitability of the site, compatibility with the existing development on this uh, stretch of roadway and availability of infrastructure in the public it's, it's the staff's opinion that uh, it is consistent with this comprehensive plan. There's no uh, apparent floodplains or wetlands or other steep topography on the site suitable for what the applicant has planned for it. Um, the corridor here along East Butler Road is, is largely turning into a commercial corridor. You've got CVS Pharmacy, Expressway Gas Station, Convenience Stores, Water Tech, Water Purification Company, Liquor Express, and Carolina Auto Repair Shop all built on this property. So it doesn't appear to present any compatibility issues. 
utilities are available and things like that too. It's into how this Butler Rep is continuing to expand, so it, that's the support of that time. Thank you. Any questions for staff from the commission? Very good. Do I hear a motion regarding this item? Make the motion that we recommend approval. I have a motion to recommend approval of this rezoning to council from Commissioner Foreman. Do I hear a second? I have a second from Commissioner Ong. Any last minute discussion? Hearing no more, I'd like to go ahead and call for a vote. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand and saying aye. Aye. I believe that's unanimous. Okay. That is the only item on our agenda tonight. Um, any additional business? The only other thing I'll mention is just a reminder that we, at our last meeting, set the date for our December meeting as the 20th. Okay, uh, do I hear any, I'll entertain motions to adjourn the meeting. I have a motion to adjourn, do I have a second? Second. Seconded, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.